Hello everyone, welcome to our channel CyberCrete and from today we will learn the Python programming language. So here are the topics that we are going to cover. First we will look at the basic of the Python programming language in which we will learn about loops, variables and all those stuffs. And then here comes the data structure part where we will learn the data structure that are available in a Python. And then we will move towards the OOPS concept in which we will learn about classes, functions and methods. And then we will move to our data science part and we will have a look how Python is used in data science. So to learn all this, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any future updates. So let's get started. Before getting started working with Python, the first thing that we need to do is to install the Python. So you can download python from this official python website pythonorg.com slash downloads which most of the people do or you can just download anaconda it's little bit heavier in size it's around 462 mb but it includes like many of the packages pre-installed and you don't have to install it manually or you can use the most easiest thing that i am going to use that is google collab Google Colab is a online Python interpreter offered by Google. You can just go to collab.research.google.com and from there you can just see this interface. You just have to click on new Python notebook and it will just redirect you to the web interface. And the best part of this is it gives you 16 GB of RAM of Google RAM and the internet access should be pretty good enough and it won't cause any problem. I am going to use this Google Collab because getting started with this is pretty much easy and everyone who is willing to follow to this tutorial can easily come here and start coding without worrying about installation part. So without wasting much of the time let's get started here. Let's write our first hello world program with Python. In Python writing hello world program is the easiest thing that you can ever do. You just have to write print this bracket and then within the semicolon you can just write hello world. And as soon as you press shift enter, shift plus enter this code will start getting executed on the Google Colab. As you can see, you have successfully written a hello world program in Python. This print statement is just used to print whatever you just want to write. If you just write any variable like print 5 plus 7, then it will just do add and it will provide the result. So let's talk about the most important thing that we are going to use throughout this course that is using the comments. In Python you can comment using a hashtag like this hashtag and you just write whatever you want. This is a comment and when you press enter nothing is going to happen because this is a comment. Let's see how multi-line comments are written in Python. You can just write three colon and then just press enter and anything you just write between this is going to be in comment. Let me show you an example like print 5 plus 7 and as soon as I run this it is just going to return me as it is or in general case it's not going to be executed by our python it's not printing the result that is 12 so now let's move on to our variables part of our python like other programming languages there are variables in python too but the most interesting part is you don't have to initialize them like in other programming language you do like int a is equal to 5 but luckily in python you just have to write a is equal to 5 and the python is going to automatically make it as an integer seeing that it is an integer value in python to check which type of data type your current variable is you just need to write type 
and you just write the variable name a just press enter and this will tell you what is the data type here you can see it is an integer data type and if you say b is equal to 5.50 and write type of b just run it and it will say it is stored data type you just don't have to manually initialize the data type with the variable name it will automatically do it now let's have a look at string data variables like if you want to store a string you just write s is equal to hello and write type of s and here you will see the s is str which means it is a string data type now let's have a look at one more interesting thing like s is equal to hello now i want to write y is equal to world w o r l d and i want to print hello world print and you just need to write s plus and you can just print a space here if you want to then plus y let's see what does it print it will print hello world concatenation is this much easy in python you just need to use the add symbol to concat to concatenate this to a string and it will be concatenated let's see some other data types like complex data type the complex data types looks something like a is equal to 5 plus 7j and you print type of l and it's complex data type well there are list in python list l is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the best part of python's list are you can store multiple data types in a single variable name i can't only store number but i can also store a string here like hello and you can just print it print l and let's see the data type of l it is list well this was a, just a brief introduction about all the data types in python if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel we will be making more videos on that and we are going to dive into some more special advanced topics in our later videos. So thanks for watching.